How's it going everybody? It's Warren and it has been a long time since I've done a DC video due to the fact that the Avengers Endgame hype is very real right now. However, we just got a new trailer for the Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix and it looks really, really good. It's very evident that this is a very different take on the Joker that we've seen recently such as Jared Leto's The Joker. This movie is supposed to be a tragedy. When it was pitched to the studio, it was pitched as a tragedy. And that is definitely what we see in this trailer. The Joker's character in the movie is named Arthur Fleck. And in this trailer, we see a series of very unfortunate events happen to Arthur Fleck. We see tragedy after tragedy, ultimately leading him to his breaking point until we eventually see him become the Joker at the end. The Joker in this movie is very real. It's not over the top like Jared Leto's Joker in Suicide Squad. Arthur Fleck is a person who has a mental illness who is just trying to take care of his mom who seems like she may have a mental illness as well. He's trying to make ends meet working a job that he hates as a clown spinning a sign outside of a business, while simultaneously trying to make it as a comedian as well. It starts of course with an opening scene on Gotham City. This movie is supposed to take place somewhere around the 1970s timeline which was actually a real rough time for New York in the 1970s. So they're sort of carrying over that vibe in this trailer for the Joker in Gotham City. We start by seeing Arthur Fleck talk to a social worker where she asks him, does it help to have someone to talk to? If you freeze frame this scene right here and you zoom in on her badge, we can see that it says she works for the Department of Health and that her name is Deborah Kane. Deborah Kane is from the Batman novel, The Ultimate Evil. She is a social worker in the novel, but she's also actually an informant for Bruce Wayne, and she actually helps him take down a criminal organization in the novel. It's unclear if she'll play a significant role in the movie or if this is just an Easter egg they're throwing in there. We see him walk through Gotham, and then we see him walk up a very large staircase, very defeated and very down on his luck, which we'll come back to later on in the video. We see him taking care of his mom and probably see the only time where he has genuine laughter and happiness in this trailer. We hear him say over this footage, my mother always tells me to smile and put on a happy face. She told me I had a purpose, to bring laughter and joy into the world. As he says this, we see him writing in a notebook or journal with the title, Jokes. And the top part starts as kind of dark and twisted jokes, talking about the old people and insomnia and the poor being confused. But on the bottom, we can see him actually writing about his own mental illness that he suffers from. And he's writing his thoughts about it and it says, the worst part of having a mental illness is people expect you to behave as if you don't. And this is where we start to see the real struggles that Arthur Fleck is having in his life. Because in the next scene, we see him spinning a sign for a business that is about to go out of business. You can see the sign says everything must go, but he does have a smile on his face. And this goes back to what his mother told him to do, put on a happy face and bring joy to the world. So he's doing the best he can. He's about to be out of a job, but still trying to be happy about it. And then some kids come and steal a sign. He chases them into the alleyway and they smash it on his face. And this is where we sort of start to see the very dark side of this movie. We hear him say, is it just me or is it getting even crazier out there? Referring to Gotham City with this line. And then we can see how his body is very decrepit. It's almost deformed. He's very poor in this movie. He has a mental illness and he probably doesn't eat nearly enough what he needs to. Then we have a scene with him and Sophie Dumond in a diner. Sophie is supposed to be either his friend or his love interest in the movie. She smiles at him and he smiles back, but it almost seems like he's forcing the smile. As we know, this movie is supposed to be a series of tragedies. And based off what we've seen in this trailer, this relationship goes bad. And then things get even darker when we see him go to the Arkham State Hospital. And notice that it doesn't say Arkham Asylum, it's Arkham State Hospital. It's not Arkham Asylum yet. In this movie, Batman, Bruce Wayne is still just only a kid. In fact, we see young Bruce Wayne in this trailer. When he's in the elevator and the mental patient is freaking out, if you look on the back wall, you can actually see some green letters with a green question mark. This could be a little Easter egg referencing the Riddler, possibly setting him up for future movies. So we see him inside the state hospital where he's talking to somebody that works there behind the cage and it looks like he's getting some pretty bad news. You can tell by the way that he asked the person what that they have some sort of bad news for him. It could be news that his mother has actually died because she has a mental illness and at some point she could end up staying in the Arkham State Hospital. So this scene could be him going to visit her but he finds out and gets the news that his mother has died. And from here we just see Arthur Fleck spiral out of control until he eventually becomes the Joker. We see him in the stand-up comedy club and we get our first Joker laugh. And I must say that this laugh is creepy, but I love it. I don't think it's over the top. I think it's a very real crazy laugh. And then again from here, we just see him sort of spiral out of control and lose his mind. We have the scene where he's here getting ready for work and he forces himself literally to put a smile on his face. We see him laughing and crying on the train, trying to force himself to be happy, even though he's really, really depressed in his life. And then these guys on the train beat him up. 
We see him dancing around a little bit and then we see him look into the mirror and it looks like this is the moment where he embraces himself as the Joker. From here on out in the movie, it looks like he goes into full Joker mode. Kind of like he's given up and he just doesn't care anymore. We see that he has a gun in his hand and he's dancing around with a gun in his hand like he just did something with it, like he just shot somebody. And at the same time, we hear Thomas Wayne's voice and we see him on the TV. This is of course Bruce Wayne, Batman's father. We hear him say what kind of coward would do something that cold-blooded, somebody who hides behind a mask. So it seems like Arthur Fleck finally hit his snapping point, put on his mask, put on his Joker outfit, went and he killed somebody. And now Bruce Wayne is talking about that publicly. We see a cop chasing him on the subway and we actually don't know who this character is yet. A character has not been listed for this actor yet, but it is widely believed that this is Jim Gordon. The next scene is actually the Joker at Wayne Manor with Bruce Wayne. As you can see, Bruce Wayne is just a child when these events take place, but they're already setting up some weird dynamic between the two of them because the Joker sticks his fingers in his mouth, makes him smile. And it's interesting because it seems like the antagonist of this movie is actually going to be Thomas Wayne, Bruce Wayne's father. And spoiler alert, we all know Batman's past, right? We know how his parents die, so they could be doing a little bit of retconning. Maybe the Joker will end up killing Batman's parents. From here on out, we see several scenes of him going crazy and he starts to kind of sink into the Joker. He's becoming the Joker. He's looking at himself in the mirror and he can't stand the sight of himself so he bashes his head into the mirror. But he's clearly gotten attention since he's become the Joker because he's going on The Late Show, hosted by Murray Franklin who is Robert De Niro's character. So he's clearly up to a lot as the Joker and he seems to be getting some followers too because we see these protesters all wearing the Joker's mask fighting the cops. We get a few more shots of him becoming even crazier, becoming the Joker even more, and we hear him say, I used to think that my life was a tragedy, but now I realize it's a comedy. This is who the Joker is, somebody with a very tragic backstory with a mental illness who eventually just goes insane. The origin of the Joker isn't actually really known either. This is why in The Dark Knight we hear Heath Ledger actually say two different backstories for how he got his scars. He's actually referencing two different origins from the comics. Because again, there isn't one clear origin for the Joker in the comics. So now we see him in his full Joker suit. He's walking down the hallway of the apartment, very confidently carrying flowers in his hand, most likely going to see Sophie, or if his mother's alive, his mother. We then see him basically dancing on the same stairs that we saw him in the beginning where he was really beaten up. And they put this at the very end of the trailer because in the very beginning, we saw him down on his luck and we saw this whole tragedy play out throughout this trailer to lead him to becoming the Joker. And then of course we end with a scene with the Joker in full makeup, full outfit in the elevator and right before it closes he gives us a little Joker smile. So that's it for my breakdown of the new Joker trailer that we got today. Let me know what you thought about the trailer. And do you like the way Joaquin Phoenix portrayed the Joker? Let me know in the comments down below. And just a reminder, I'm still doing my giveaway, giving away a life-sized Infinity Gauntlet. If you'd like to enter for your chance to win, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, and comment down below with your thoughts and your favorite superhero or villain. And also be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on movies like The Joker, Avengers Endgame, and all things relating to superheroes. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.